Get back, son. Get back. <laughs> Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. Get back over there and play with your two. It's not something you see every day in Florida. He's a good boy. He's a handsome devil. He's a handsome man. Two women in the cage of what most would consider a dangerous and unpredictable animal. No, get back. But Gail Bowen and Jay Perrette don't see it that way. What's the deal with you? Look, here's your ball. They view this as simply unconditional love for some very big animals. So something needs to be done to preserve these animals, and that's why ears, our uh, motto is preserving with dignity. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> And what the Endangered Animal Rescue Sanctuary, or EARS, does is give a home to unwanted big cats. Believe it or not, people around this country are constantly abandoning their pet lion or tiger. Three to four times a week, somebody is contacting us, begging us to please take their cat. And if you can't believe anyone would do that, just tour their 30-acre facility. Nearly all of the 30 exotic cats housed here have a tragic past. Meet Norman. His owner severely kicked him in the face. The tiger developed gangrene, and if you look real closely, you'll notice he no longer has a lower jaw. Tom the tiger was nearly starved to death by his caretaker. Jumanji, the lion's owner, tried to turn him into a Vegas act, only to abandon him as a young cat. So why are so many big cats getting abandoned? Well, so many people get excited about, say, owning a baby white tiger. After all, they're cute as can be. But as they grow up, they become simply unmanageable. No, 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 no. no Not no, only no. unmanageable, but here? dangerous. As I walked into one of their cages, Jay okay, gave me a stern that. warning. They are exotic animals, they are dangerous, and no, you can no, never no, fully no, trust no. them, ever. Jay not only admits they can be dangerous, but she says the real problem is people should not be allowed to own them. These are not pets. They can never be pets. Ears never, never breeds their animals. They simply give these cats a great home. Most cage sizes are 10 times larger than what the law considers legal. And creating a feel of Africa does not come cheap. Get this, these guys chomp down 320 pounds of meat a day. Operating costs top $100,000 a year for this nonprofit facility. But once a cat comes to ears, they are safe for life. There's even a cemetery for the kings of the jungle to rest in peace. And that's, we believe that they need to be not only preserved with dignity, but they need to be buried with dignity.